go. All right, and then start the timer now. All right, there we go. All right, timer started. They're good to begin. Jib will get cooked. That's how I feel. What are the decks? Is it still 45 minute rounds? Yes. Yep, still 45 minutes. I, I know Konami technically does more time for their top eight, top four in finals, but I'm not giving it an extra 20 minutes to the finals just because. I'm, I'm just doing 45 minute rounds every round. I feel like that that's how Konami should be doing it. I know that's not how they do, but that's how they should be doing it. 100%. Any draw on Rose? Manadium versus Infernoble. Wait, Jib is Ferrari? Yep, yep. He's on Cherry Ferrari. He's on his alt right now. Was trying to bet it all on Jib. You're gonna go normal room. Okay, grab out Meek. Sure, sure. And there's already no drolls. So now we gotta check for other hand traps. And room heart is combo. Effect, summon back out from the graveyard, and then they can make Visa Synchro. That can search Peaceful Planet. Then it can make Light Heart. There's a lot that you can do off of just one room heart. So if Jib has no hand trap, the opponent will be able to combo here. Um, I said, hi there, what is this top? Uh, this is the finals of the tournament right now. This is the finals. Uh, we have, and this is game one of the finals that just started. We have Manadium versus Infernoble. Manadium is going first. This is two finals back to back where we've had two huge combo decks in the finals. The last tournament was Infernoble times two times two oh uh, they don't want rounds to go to time if top coat rounds went to time they'd look bad which is all they care about at the end of the day yep i don't know i mean Kana I, I just konami's not real that's all i gotta say konami's prizing are fake the konami prizing is fake how they host the tournaments is fake a lot of what they do is not real but hey it is what it is it is what it is how often do you do tourneys Said every other day, no cap. Hey, hey, stop lying. I don't host tourneys every day. No, no, no. Okay, so I, I host maybe like one tourney a week. Um, maybe two tourneys a week. Maybe. It's honestly just kind of random. I need to get more of a schedule for it. Um, but I have I have a Discord. It's the Coliseum Discord. Like where everyone money matches in Iron Man's. Uh, that, that's where I tell people about the tournament starting. So that way people can join in it. Uh, not real how what does that mean the judges said they work for Konami hey I, I don't know not real so I gotta say there's so much that they do wrong like like the third like think about it like this the fact that the third fourth playoff match between Pac and Chris LeBlanc all it got was a written feature match is crazy to me that's crazy like oh my god God, they drew talents off right card. That's crit. That 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 right there. That that's a W in chat. That's a W in chat. That's what he'd want. I know that's what Shark would want. God, it's so beautiful. But um, no, it's like I don't know. There's there's a lot. Like uh, I, I could name fifty different things from an event that probably should be done different. Like starting with the fact that rich in, written feature matches are too old school. There's like almost no point of doing them. The money that they're paying the guy to write for them, they should have just bought a camera and used the camera instead. That's literally better content, cheaper, works better over time, doesn't cost more money over time. I'm saving them money. They're getting better product. Simple as that. Okay, next. Um, they're prizing. Konami's prizing is horrible. You can get third place at a YCS. Uh, you have to get first, second, or third at a YCS. Otherwise, you lost out on the weekend. You lost money almost guaranteed. Even if you get second or third, depending on where you came from and all that, you may not even make money then. Um, they need to change their prizing. They need to do alt art cards like One Piece does. Um... Like, imagine top 32, everybody that gets top 32 gets a prismatic, common, ultra, secret ash. I don't know, some random rarity ash blossom that you only get if you get top cut. Boom, that card's worth bread. And guess what? It cost them, like, one cent to print that card instead of having to buy 
like Nintendo Switches to give out, which like, sure, it's like a decent prizing, right? But it's not crazy. It's kind of getting old too. Booking hotels ain't cheap. True. Imagine if Yu-Gi-Oh gave out money prizing. I don't even, that, that's the thing. I don't even want money prizing from Konami though. Because if they had to give out money, that's going to cost them money to give out. I would rather have them print off one cent for them cardboard that we can then take and sell for like a hundred dollars a pop or something just random stuff like that right so that way konami's cost stays down and our pricing goes up like that's what we want because then we don't have to pay more money to go to tournaments because otherwise we're gonna have like a eu situation where it costs 45 dollars to enter a tournament and that's ridiculous i mean it's not ridiculous but for what you get to enter the tournament and the prizing it is ridiculous um and they could give us better prizing charge us more and have the prizing go down in price for them that's what i'm saying like it, it just seems so obvious it just seems very obvious but i don't know uh they literally cannot make alternative arts they don't own the ip they license it and the licensors are the ones who say no well, they can make... I don't mean alternative art, necessarily. I mean, like, alternative rarity is what I mean. So, like, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Like, imagine if they made an ulti one of that for Top Cut. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. I didn't mean to say alt art. I meant to I meant to keep saying, like, alternative rarities. Alt, like, different rarity all or alt art. You could do either or. Um, but if they can't do alt art... Um, then they should just commit to the different rarities because there's also like different rarities that they could do They could do the millennium rarity from OCG, which I don't know if we have ever gotten over here I know we got something close to that in mama. I don't know if that's the actual one though Are the old uh, ulti shatter foil from OCG? Whoa, 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 ulti shatter foil goes crazy ulti shatter foil maxi goes crazy giant cards can be money yeah, yeah yeah oh true true uh you make more money playing the side events than you do the main event that's 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 just obvious though i mean i mean <laughs> whenever there's like remote tourneys like most like i only have played in one remote ycs the other ones i just never cared about um i never cared about them i never played in them so i just played side events and just made easy bread like, it, it is easy bread playing inside of us. Uh, just get ulti ash from rarity collection, forehead. Hey, grinder, next time put me in a tournament too. You owe me that one. You gotta join. You gotta join the tournament. Okay, so Sky Crisis, Beat Over SP, Sky Crisis. To bounce back. Disc patterns. Now we're only going up against Baron. Baron, Baron's a lot though. Baron beats over Sky Crisis. Baron pops Museum. They have Astroloud set up that they could banish and summon just as a body. Yeah, just as a body to bring out. Uh, so activate Primitive Planet. Okay, go search out Rykart. Or yeah search out right card what's the point of the main event uh it's really just there for like status i guess like winning the main event like okay let's say you win three giant cards throughout the weekend right you profited nice but no one's gonna ever like no one cares that you did that not a single person will ever care that you won those giant cards like, you're not going to join a team because, oh, I'm a giant card grinder. No, no, one, no one's going to care about that. People are going to care if you, like, actually top the event, do well at the event. And also, it feels better personally. I feel like that's a big thing, too, is, like, per, like on a personal level, I don't care if I win a win a mat. I don't care. I could care less. I have I have a couple giant cards. They're cool. They're cool. But realistically, just sit there and catch dust. Um, you know, a win, though. The moment, like winning in the moment, that that's what matters. Cause I don't care about the trophy. Best trophies for profit? I got no idea. <laughs> I got no idea. I I got rid of my trophy already. 
Um, you think Josh plays Master Jewel to get better at CCG? Uh, I think playing Yu-Gi-Oh! all around will make you a little bit better. Like, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! all around will make you a little bit better at playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Even if it's Master Jewel to TCG. But I don't think, like, he's playing Master Jewel to get better at TCG. Um... Said, yes, I did, and you didn't select me, but alphabetically, reason didn't put me in. You remember? I do not remember. <laughs> I do not remember at all. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let me join your team. I'm a giant card grinder. <laughs> w Tate being on the stage, getting cheered on by the homies. Nah, I, I don't even know. Like, when I was on stage, I didn't pay attention to what people were saying at all like you i really didn't hear i didn't even hear it at all that's the thing i didn't even hear it and i was just fine i just cooked my opponent with the quickness and then went on with my day but no the the finals didn't even matter when i went it was the top four that was hype for me like the top four was so hype i literally thought i had lost my opponent has the winning line they fumble the line and then i win Literally, just, all they did was fumble and I won. And I literally, like, my opponent goes, summons Necroz, Trish effect. I go, chain, Valor, target your Valk. And he goes, oh, I'll pass. And I said, I said, pass? He goes, yeah, I went, draw? Oh, I went main phase? Battle phase? Attack Manju? He goes to put the handshake out. I jump up. I'm like, let's go! I'm freaking out. I broke the chair and I'm like, ah, I dab him up. I'm like, I'm so good. And I run over to my friends and I'm like, let's go, let's go. I did it. I did it. It was crazy. Especially because uh, at the time too, the person I was playing against, he was like friends with all the big name people. So behind me, there was like, uh, like Patrick Holman and all that group. So I, I was literally just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, okay, now they make Apo. They're under Droll, so they can't really go in the Angelica. Droll hurts. That card's so good. But also, they probably have a Droll of their own. They're not under Droll. Oh, they Aqua Dolphined it. That's true. Yeah. They, they have Droll, though. They have Droll. They are not under Droll. That is fair. Need to pay more attention to the game. I've been so focused on chat for the last, like, hour. Alright, I'm about to full focus after I drink some water. But, okay, Ricardio, sign back. He discarded one, so pray not. Oh, no, no, no. He's got Droll in hand. He's got Droll in hand for sure. Angelica in the museum. But it's fine. We, we gotta go to game three for content, right? Can't just be a 2-0. Gotta go to game three. Andrew T with the focus. True. W Shark. I'm gonna go. Captain Roland. Dumb. Okay. And then Almy. Summon. Synchro off. So is this on. Okay, never mind. Nope. And then effect. Okay, add back. And that's gear freed for us. That's Link 1 right there. In the re clip Synchro. Yup. That is good. And then Museum. Phoenix Blade. Link 1 again. Equip. Yup. Make that. Equip the Synchro now. So we already have a few spell trap negates. Uh, we have three spell negates, Appalooza, Gear Freed, and a Pop. And all of our bodies are huge. They're all gigantic bodies. Um, so does Droll do anything with Infernobles? And my favorite pizza is Meat Lovers. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Droll is good against Infernoble, uh, but they had ripped it with the Aqua Dolph in this game. So they weren't able to do anything with it this time around. But the Meat Lover's Pizza is nice. I like Meat Lover's Pizza a lot. It's either that or like pepperoni for me. 
Okay, okay, so it's not, okay, okay, yep. Aqua Dolphin, and then they're gonna go Phoenix Blade, Banish, add back, and then Aqua Dolphin effect, rip from their hand, rip the Fenrir, right? Or what's, let's say, what's in their hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got word of Meek? <laughs> well, actually, I don't even, I don't remember what the last card in their hand is now. So I know there's the Abscession in the hand. But they're gonna rip Fenrir. Bigger monsters now, sorry. No, okay, so. They're going to equip. And then. They have the end phase equip. Pretty good, pretty good. Pizza tier list. Pineapple and cheese, best pizza. I see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds crazy. I don't, me personally, I don't like pineapples. So I don't like pineapples on pizza. I'm not one of those people that don't like pineapples on pizza just because of, like, the reasoning behind it. I just don't like pineapples. Uh, but I don't know. I, I like pepperoni pizza a lot. I'm not going to lie. Pepperoni pizza is kind of fire. Uh, but meat lovers pizza is also good. To be honest, though, I'll really eat any pizza as long as it doesn't start getting weird. Like, I don't even know. You'd have to start just making it weird for me to not eat the pizza. Like... I would eat a barbecue pizza, uh, I don't even know, like I've had Alfredo pizza, like Alfredo sauce on the pizza, I just, I don't even know, I'm trying to think about what pizza have I actually turned down in my life, I guess, I guess one with like tons of mushrooms on it, but even then I'll just pick them off, like I don't know, I don't know. Bro, eat anchovy pizza. An anchovy pizza. That that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm I don't even know. I'm not I'm not big on fruits, vegetables, veggies, any of that stuff. I'm not too big on that stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I I really just be eating like sandwiches. Yeah, I really just be eating like sandwiches and like full meals. Of like the same thing. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. I just be eating to be honest. I've been making tons of food recently though. Anchovy pizza is so good. So good. Mushrooms on pizza are bogus. I also just don't like mushrooms. So that's also why I don't like them on pizza. I don't know. I really like anything on pizza. I feel like any food that I like off pizza. I also would like on pizza. Until you. Until you. Yeah. I guess you could get weird and put like ice cream on it. Then I'm not eating it. Okay, so, oh, going for the room heart, Meek, Lion getting hit with a DD Crow onto Meek. Okay, so, banish that. Talents, does it look at hand? Think on effect? Oh, why you gotta do this to us? If it's the draw effect, sure, it's fine. It's still broken, it's, it's pot of greed, it's literally just pot of greed. But, if they use the look effect, that's when you know it's game. That's when you know the game is over. Like, if they activated talents and they instantly said, look at hand. Raps. That's raps. Oh, yeah, bacon sandwich, you said. Uh, I do be eating bacon sandwiches, but that's not, like, the main sandwich I be eating. The main sandwich I be eating is PB&J. PB&J with an infinite amount of peanut butter now. An infinite amount of peanut butter. Uh, okay, so they drew two. Now they gotta think about how they can play from here. Uh, they did get hit with DD Crow on the Meek, which hurt, caused them the talent straw. Hey, also shout out to, uh, I don't even know how to say that name, Kako Pathas and PB Arrow and Trill EG93. Thank you all for the follows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Primitive Planet, Search Scareclaw, Right Card. Okay, so I'm guessing we're summoning that, then, search Scareclaw catch Tira, yup, yup, are we, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm guessing we're summoning that then, banish special, yup, it's fine, because that's the link one, uh, yes, the problem with TTT, like, if combos, 
had hard choke points, then maybe it's okay, but that's not the state of the game. Yeah, I knew he was a real one. The PB and J comments solidified it. Oh god. The P PB and J's go crazy. If someone doesn't like a PB and J, I don't know. They, they, they better be like allergic to peanut butter or something. Then it's like, sure, fine, I guess. But other than that, no excuses. Uh, Domino's, Papa John's, or Pizza Hut. Domino's for sure. Domino's for sure. But I actually had, uh, I think it was Pizza Hut. I don't know. I think it, because my buddy had pizza at his house. I think it was Pizza Hut. And the pizza was good. The pizza was definitely good. Like, Papa John's and Pizza Hut still make good pizza. But it's not, it's not no Domino's pizza, you know what I mean? It's not no Domino's pizza. Yup. And then SP. And then SP effect. Banish Crow from their graveyard. Okay. Could have also banished from their own graveyard. But honestly, it doesn't matter. To be honest, they don't play Dark Charmer. So their crow doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, and banish your own Astro Loud for like a future disc pattern. It's really a. Uh, am I missing something? Star Frost on. Oh, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, Star Frost. On this though, can't target. Truska, it's a light. Yeah, they they didn't target this with that. They targeted a uh, Light Heart with Star Frost, because they went summon Scareclaw Cash, make Light Heart. And then they popped that with Star Frost and then brought that back. And then went up that way. Yeah. And then summon Rykart next to that. And then made the Baron. Wait. They didn't go Rykart. They went into that. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. But big thing. Uh, where's the Manadium Field Spell? Uh they don't they didn't they didn't get to make it. They got DD Crowed. Otherwise, they would have got to go up into Synchro 8 and then Synchro 8 search for it. But they got stopped, so then they just had the Primitive Planet for Scareclaw, Cash Tira, and Banished from the hand very awkwardly. But, we still got Baron plus SP Little Knight, a set card, and a card in our hand. Versus Infernoble. You know, big combo deck. Big combo deck. Oh, starting off with a Fenrir too. That's a pretty good way to start it off. It's a very good way to start it off. That could just like instantly out SP if they want to try doing that. I was going to say if we do try doing that, it does play in the droplet very bad. So we're going to go Fenrir effect. They're going to Baron stop it. Activate Museum. That card's actually broken. It's like the best card in the Infernoble deck. Uh, do you like the Horus cards? Uh, the Horus cards are cool. They're cool. I don't like them overall, though. I think they'll probably be good at some point. It wouldn't even surprise me if that point is, like, not too far away from now. Also, imagine that deck gets, like, support. I don't even know. Like, good support, too. Like, actual support. Like, another hand effect that can get you to, like, King Sarcophagus or something. Or a graveyard effect that gets you to King Sarcophagus. Whoo! I don't know, the, the potential for that archetype is very high. Uh, activate Heritage of the Chalice, go search. Wow, just has just has everything. But adds Museum from deck. They could have also just added the one back from Graveyard. Oh, go ahead, grab out Durendal. It really doesn't matter, though. So now they have... Okay, so Durendal... Doesn't actually do anything into this field if they don't want it to. So like, they could they could SP right to make it so that way Durendal doesn't end up doing anything. But yeah, then you just put them on have nothing else, which I think is like fine. But hopefully they don't mess up. Uh, they're getting the field spell and monster search in the phantom set. No. Are they? <laughs> I actually don't know. 
I actually don't know. I, I haven't, I didn't pay attention to any Yu-Gi-Oh cards that weren't going to be out for Richmond or Indy. Anything else? Oh my gosh. Normal summon OG effect. He said that game goes ahead, dumps Turpin. Turpin effect to equip. Museum effect to special summon out. We shall see, I guess. Alright, go up into a sold. A sold effect. Go grab red layer. Effect to go dump. They're gonna dump Phoenix Blade. Bring out Ricardito. Ricardito effect. Bring out from the graveyard. Yup. Angelica. Angelica effect go search. Go grab out Museum. Played around Droll. But played in the crow. <laughs> I, I'm definitely playing around Droll if I'm um, Oh, okay. Stream went down for a second, but it looks like stream's back up now. That wasn't good. Well, at, le at least it's at the end of the stream, too. At least it's at the end of the stream, too. But, okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, OG on Angelica. Chain Angelica. Tag out. Summon. Go dump. But hey, honestly, I'd rather have stream start messing up now than for it to have messed up during the YCS. But hopefully it stops messing up. But go for Captain Roland. Equip Almace, Turpin the special out. That's a Synchro 9 now. And then Almace to grab back. Yeah. The Synchro 9 and the Emperor Charles Owl Mace effect grab back. They could even just go like Captain Roland effect to equip and then summon Gear Freed in that game. Yeah, effect pop just may as well set up a monster negate. Oh, okay, keep going. Go up in the Emperor Charles to great. Effect, bring out, yup, bring out Emperor Charles, Museum, special summon out the Emperor Charles. Sure, that is fine. There's also a game. Wait, why do we summon this? Did she use the effect to search on field spell? Yup. Yup, they did. Right, that's how they... I got 56. Ye Almis. Oh, right. I negated first run. Yep. Negated first one before pain. Just saw two engrave. Yep, yep, yep. So, okay. So, GG. Battle phase game. Yep. GG's, GG's. GG's. Wow, okay. Ha! Shifter is the next card. Is that is that for cross out? It's gotta be for cross out, right? Wait. What? It's not for cross out. They're trying to draw it. Yeah, they're actually trying to draw 